So just the other day, I was browsing Twitter on my computer and I came across this website. It's a very specific website and I'll show you later in the video. You'll understand. I came across this website and I was, my eyes were fixed to the screen, right? I'm scrolling, I'm reading everything, I'm watching everything happen. And the interesting thing is, Somebody I know was a part of the team that made it, right? So even more, I'm feeling a little bit of a personal connection. Um, they had an amazing launch. So I'm like, wow, going through it. And I go through it. Great. About one hour later, you know, I'm, I'm talking to my team and we sit down and I sit down with one of them and I'm like, bro, check out this website, right? Like we go through and I'm like, oh, you know, that recent... SF client that we worked with, you know, we did something similar to this. Yeah, okay, we talked about it, great. Another one hour later, I go to another team member. I'm like, bro, can you open your computer? He opens it up, we go through. And you know, he's saying, this is a little different. Hai. Like this, uh, it's a little bit too much. This, oh wow. That night, I go back home, um, you know, many hours later. I'm lying down in bed and I'm thinking about this website. And uh, I just cannot get it out of my head. And so I open it again, and now I'm actually interacting with it, right? Like, like I go through, I do some actions. And it just got me thinking, wow, bro. Like for me, as somebody who has been a designer for 10 to 15 years now, right? Like I first started in college, it was like more than a decade ago. For me to have this kind of response for a website, it was really a bit unusual. And then that got me thinking, like, yo, as designers, okay, hear me out for a sec. As designers, of course, the world thinks our work is to make things look good. Great, that's true. Nobody likes things that look bad, because if it looks bad, you're probably not going to trust it. You're going to feel like it's low quality. Also, if it's mid you're going to compare this against the market, like as a consumer, you have choices and you're probably going to make a decision based on some subjective factors, right? Beyond that, yes, the website, let's say it's above average. Now, great, but when you're still in the market as a consumer, you have all these options. You might not make the purchase immediately or you might not do the interaction completely or just like me, you might not immediately refer it to everybody around you like, bro, check this out. But you will refer the ones that you remember. Something crazy about this website, and guys, I know I've teased it, it's coming up, I'm gonna go through it. Something crazy about this website is it had a strong signal. It had a really good messaging. And more than anything, it was memorable as fuck. Very, very memorable, such that I could not sleep at night without thinking about the website. It's not even something I have made. <laughs> so, what does this come down to? I think one thing that we are forgetting now with these, now that we're in this age of AI website builders, right? And I strongly urge you to try some of these out. You can generate a website within a couple of minutes. One decade ago, the version of this was you can generate a website using a template that you buy. That still exists today, but now you can even generate custom websites within a couple minutes. But the bigger picture to keep in mind here is that that is a $10 website. When you spend a couple hours on it, when you make it better, maybe it becomes a $100 website. The kinds of websites that blow our mind, that go viral, that you know people talk about, that win awards, that get shared broadly. These are $100,000, million dollar websites. And what I mean by that is, of course, the value that they're able to generate, but, and that's the output, but even in terms of input, right? You have teams of people working on it for a few months, let's say two months. You have five people working on it on a certain salary, There's maybe even devs involved, and you can calculate the amount of effort that goes into it, right? So. One thing I definitely want you guys to a little bit start looking into is, yes, you should be using these AI website builders, but consider it as a base. As a non-designer, you might see this five-minute output and you'll be like, wow, array website, Woo. 
But if you remember, if you watch this video, I strongly suggest you check this video out. The difference between you as a designer and somebody who's a layman, non-designer, is that our standards of taste are typically way higher. And somewhat that is got, what got us into this field. And that is what clients pay us for. If a client has to tell me what looks good, what, what um, I should be doing, then yo, what really is my authority as a designer? So use these tools, treat it as a base. Maybe this becomes your wireframe, right? But raise your standards, raise your standards. This might seem like it's a very low hanging fruit kind of time where everybody just wants quick, fast, cheap, easy. But for you and me, for the ones who have these crazy references, high taste in mind, these quick, fast, easy can become base templates that we can easily build on. It kind of becomes the scaffolding on which we build our vision and the taste is what guides the direction. Now let's jump in here. All right, here it is. So let's break this down and then you can check this out for yourself. Wake up, Samurai. Wake up. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Your heading, your heading of your page, the first thing that somebody sees, try to make it not descriptive. Try to make it provocative. It should speak to people and get them to want to go further. Now I'm sleeping on my, I'm up. I'm up. Problem. Proposition. A key marketing term, a very, very, very advanced marketer once taught me is don't give people the key without first showing them the lock, right? What this comes down to is these guys, they're thinking about what the problem is, making a proposition, and then that invites you to this page primed with what it's all about. Um, I'm not going to take the action right now, but let's go further. Now, I know... I know there's a bit of a love-hate relationship that designers have with these kind of scroll interactions. In the past, the main re one of the core reasons around this was devs hated implementing something like this. And with browsers not being so up-to-date, and I'm talking in the past, this was a term, it was called scroll jacking, and it was generally frowned upon. However, making a comeback now, a lot of designers, you know, our team included, we use sites like Framer and Webflow, which have deep um, capabilities for designers to be able to implement these interactive scroll-based animations. I love the copywriting, right? Not so serious. Um, one thing you should also notice is some of you might be looking at this and being like, yo, dik to achha rai, but what the fuck is this about? There is such a thing as a core user, right? Like a, like a very target user. There will be some of you who instantly understand what this is all about, or at least directionally. Some of you have no idea what this is about, right? The thing is, that's okay. Not every website needs to appeal to everybody. The kind of person who uses this, the target persona, should understand it, and they should understand it in reference to what they know and what they have seen before. Of course, there is also a point we made for educating new users, first-time users, and that could be a separate journey by itself. But for now, let's go a little bit deeper here. So I'm loving these coins going through the rings, very sonic <laughs> vibes, even with the colors. The D5 flywheel, that works for you. So the D5 flywheel, now we see this flywheel coming in, more activity, deeper liquidity. K, the katana coming in here. You know, I love that this is called katana because the design of the site, as well as the kind of positioning, cuts through, right? It, it has this very cutting effect where it's like, wow, bro, like, wow, like, is this some old reality? Like, I've never seen this. Anyway, all in the platform, yeah. Now, guys, I know I'm super excited about this site. Um, I've not been paid to promote this or anything, just like, I, I, just, I just love sites like this, and I, if, if you've, spoken to my team, if you've been a part of 10K Designers, you know that I share this kind of stuff internally quite often. But I thought, you know, why not share this with all of you as well? And let's have a conversation around it, right? Now, I'm loving this parallax effect. Um, a point to note, right? Um, 
I don't think a lot of AI was used, you know, to make this side. I think this is all manual. However, if you are somebody who wants to explore AI and wants to integrate it, one place you could start with is asset generation. So these, you know, these cartoons that you see here, this mascot that they've got, right? Very anime, very gaming uh, vibe that I'm getting from this. In the past, you needed to be an illustrator or work with an illustrator, hire an illustrator to do it with them. Today, to make something this quality, you still need to do that. You need to work with an artist. However, if you're a solo designer and you have very high taste, I would suggest try getting in an AI, um, let's just say an AI creative partner to maybe be able to help you out to get somewhere close to this, right? But fully there? I don't think so. No AI tool can generate this site, right? With all the sharpness that it has right here we've got testimonials. Now, in the end, if you came onto the site with, you know, as a target user, without any input, it helps to know that you can trust. Now, of course, I trust because it's high quality, but if you're a target user, you probably understand what these terms are. You probably know what, who these key figures are. So testimonial, social proof, unmissable. Every single website that you build moving forward you need to figure out how you can sprinkle this in, right? This is one of the ingredients of trust. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite sections. And this is the section I was saying my team was like, yo, it's a jada nahi ho gaya. Like, yo, this is a bit, a bit too much. But you can see the sword going around in the back and this thing curving around it. Um, The other, one of the other reasons why sites like this are very polarizing, right? A lot of people absolutely hate it. Number one, just the effort. It's not easy to make something like this. It's very difficult also for one person to make something like this. So you need to have a good team of people who can actually put this together. In my opinion, the broader trend this also represents is a little bit of hyper reality, right? Like with our feeds, with all this AI content we're seeing, all the normal content as well, well that we've been watching over the last decade, our attention spans are a little bit cooked. So if this, so this will probably feel way overstimulating to maybe an older persona, but to a younger persona, to a chronically online persona, something like this, it is the thing, it's the hook that makes it memorable, right? Like this may be over the top, but hey, the world that we're headed into with this generation stuff, I think over the top is not a good to have. It might just be a must have. I don't know, okay, let's see. So we're getting close to a CTA, a call to action. What do they want you to do now that you know about all this? So beautiful site, one that I am definitely going to remember. If you like this video, if you want me to talk more about these kind of sites, drop a link in the comment. Tell me, what did you think about this, right? Is this way out there? Is this aspirational? Is this the kind of sites you want to be making? A uh, big shout out to the Polygon design team, as well as my good friend Rahul Bhosle, who's the director of design at Polygon. We first met in housing.com about 10 years ago. We worked first over there. And I'm so glad to see all the development and you know the cool stuff you guys are doing. See ya.